Okay, so it's March 5th, Sunday. I got a lot done this weekend, but one of the major jobs, and I started out Saturday morning uh, doing this, was um, taking care of the uh, uh, ventilation, the heating, the HVAC. And if you recall, this piece of ductwork, which is going to my family room upstairs, drooped underneath and went over to that next joist bay and then grabbed the, uh, the supply trunk uh, down lower. So what I did, um, where I grabbed the supply, uh, I took that hole, I put a starter collar on, and I ran a brand new vent right in here. So that'll be a supply vent for the media room. And what this is back here, you can see that little motor, that little silver thing. Yeah, get in here. Okay. That's about a 12 foot, uh, 12 inch section of uh, duct. It's a automatic damper. And I have three of them in the basement. So the way this is gonna work is almost, I could use it as a zone. So I don't have to steal too much uh, supply from upstairs. So there's gonna be a thermostat that will control each damper. And all it's really doing is opening and closing it. So when it calls for heat or calls for air conditioning, it'll tell the damper to open. So the wire comes up. I snake the wire through. It just finds its way through all these joists. And what it has to do is come into this transformer, which is over here. The transformer gets power just off of the 110 uh, volt and then uh where is this transformer here it is that's what it looks like a little transformer there then the thermostat wire hooks up into that that's the brown cord hanging down and then it goes back to the damper to give it power and the damper will just open and close oh there's a better shot of the damper you see i already have the thermostat wire connected to it okay so that's one okay so now i'm into Let's call this the playroom. So here's another part of the, um, the supply trunk and it comes out. So I tapped into the side, six inch starter collar. And then I put that can right there is the automatic damper. You can see the motor actually had to come around. Then I had to do some crazy twisting and snaking with the, uh, with the elbows to get that in. And with this, I put the uh, supply down low, which is obviously the best area for heat. Um, but I really wanted it down low here because the return, that's the uh, trunk on the left-hand side, is gonna come out of there. And that's this ductwork that I'm leaning up against the wall here. It's gonna come right into this, uh, right into this bay. That's where that's gonna go. But I don't want to really hook that up yet because, you know, everything's dusty, especially once the sheetrock comes. But let me come around here, give you a better idea. But there's the, uh, there's the thermostat wire coming out, the brown cord. One part of it hooks into the transformer and the other goes into the damper and there's the damper. Basically this motor here activates when it calls for, uh, heat or cool and it just and it just opens up the damper and then it close it closes on a spring right now it's closed and then the last one well actually we'll show where it starts so what I did I tapped into here tapped right in little starter collar I'm turning around now and I chose to use a uh, the stiff uh, six inch uh, uh, pipe just so it wouldn't sag in the joists it was easy enough to work with but then when I got to the end here <laughs> after battling trying to use all those collars on the playroom area making those curves and corners and everything uh, what I decided to do here was uh, put some flex so again at the very end I put this damper and the thermostat will be on the adjacent wall over here to my left. Uh, but I put the damper there, transformer right next to it, so this run will be nice and easy. And the reason I put it there, as well as the last one I showed you, 
the motors die on these eventually and they will need to be replaced so I want to have access to it and I'm standing in an unfinished area right now this is where my electrical panel is and this will be an unfinished area so I'll be able to get to that and change out that motor if I need to as well as the last one I showed you and again it'll be a low supply line so that's it for the uh, HVAC I am going to uh, tap in and put the return line in uh, I don't know, I, I might get around to doing it soon and then put one of those magnetic covers in it so it doesn't start sucking dust in there, especially once I start doing uh, sheetrock work and everything. Um, but if not, then I could always do it afterwards. And that's about it for this weekend.